hey guys um, today I don't got a, a speed up for you um, instead I got a tutorial uh, a lot of you guys have been uh, requesting tutorials on how to make certain things on uh, in Photoshop um, and uh, I got actually requested yesterday on YouTube uh, that I made a, a tutorial on how to make a speed art uh, just from the scratch like uh, going over it step by step and uh, I thought why not um, why not start from the scratch and uh, show you how I, I make speed art um, so I'll go over uh, over it step by step and you may follow along and uh, there may be other ways to do this uh, but this is the way I find the best way of doing it uh, what saves me the most time and what gives me the best result so starting uh, uh, a speed art the thing that uh, it takes me around let's take an example um, the last speed I made uh, zombie, the zombie speed art um, a speed art like that it takes me around five hours to do it may take more or it may take less um, some people even spend up to 12 hours on a speed art so um, the third thing the first thing you want to do is uh, come up with an idea um, I personally find inspiration by uh, watching other people speed art um, on YouTube of course or looking at pictures or maybe I just walk around and then yeah I get this idea into my head and I think yeah I'm gonna make a speed up about this uh, so when you have your idea you want to make up in your head uh, will I be able to do this um, uh, can I make this picture look what I want it to look like in Photoshop and get a satisfy sat uh, get satisfaction with it um, and a way of finding out uh, is that before you start recording um, you may want to open Photoshop or Cinema 40 or whatever you're using for uh, record uh, for making your speed art, uh, and just um just start um, making uh, uh, just start uh, making your picture without recording just to get a little picture of how it's gonna look like what it's gonna look like and uh, and that will just uh, make the result much better so you don't uh, sit and improvise while you're recording so just uh open Photoshop and uh, just get a clean picture of what I want the speed art to be like um, and of course you start over again when you start recording but it doesn't have to take more than 10 minutes um, when you got the, the idea you may uh, want to go to Google uh, I normally do that and uh, find the pictures you will need for your speed art so just go to Google pictures and for taking an example um, last speed that I made, uh, the zombie speed I, I knew I was going to use a lot of zombies and uh, maybe a scary scary landscape they could be in and a lot of fucks and this big icon that shows zombie apocalypse uh, so you may want to search like zombies and get all the pictures you need um, you may have around uh, 50 or even more pictures in the end uh, saved on your desktop um, or in a folder and um, yeah I'd say rather more uh, pictures than less so uh, just keep on searching for pictures you think you may need for your speed art so you don't have to stop uh, and find more pictures while you're doing the speed art and uh, by time you'll of course have a stock uh, a Photoshop stock um, as I have here with a lot of pictures I think there's around thousand or two thousand pictures here in all these folders and uh, you'll you'll obtain that uh, by time um, when that is done you you pretty much start making the speed art and uh, you'll have all your things ready uh, and you'll record uh, I, I personally like uh, recording with uh, this program uh, Camtasia Studio it is uh, free to download the trial at this homepage uh, their homepage uh, it's uh, legal and uh, the trial can record your screen as well as the paid version so you may as well may as well go to this homepage and download it I'll uh, leave a link in the description very great program for recording uh, you can see I'm using it uh, right now as well um, so is that being done um, you start recording and you just uh, go on uh, a quick tip is uh, notice your friends at Skype that you're actually making a speed up now or even log off because uh, it really sucks uh, when someone calls you in the middle of making a speed out or whatever so make sure to notice them 
Um, another thing, uh, please don't worry about time. Um, I found that when I started making speed arts, I worried a lot about the time. Like, do I use too much time now? Uh, do I struggle at one point of the speed or too much? Uh, I need to get going now, so it's not important to watch. Please do not, uh, do not worry about all this. Um, it will not be noticeable in the final re result of the speed art. So take the time you need. Uh, some people, as mentioned before, even use around 12 hours on the speed art, and this final result is still amazing. So please don't hurry. Take the time you need, and uh, yeah. Um, of course, you you may as well when you're making a speeder take breaks so you don't have to sit there for three hours straight, um, and uh, and record. So you may as well click pause and uh, start, take a break. Um, as uh, you're done, you may have a file on around. <laughs> it it maybe took you let's let's take three hours. It took you three hours. So you simply click uh, stop on this menu and it will uh, start rendering your uh, speed art uh, in this Camtasia Studio program. Uh, I'll just show you how that looks. Alright, so when it start, uh, stop rendering, uh, it will get you to this menu in the Camtasia Studio uh, which you used for recording. And it will show you this, what size do you want your video to be and you want to click 1280 by 720 uh, YouTube HD and just click OK keep a spec ratio on and um, I do I prefer not to use this program to render it in uh, to speeden it up um, so uh, you just want to render the one hour or three hour movie you made uh, the recording of your screen and just click uh, up here produce and share and it'll take you to this little menu and you want to click web and click next and just name it whatever you want save it whatever you want and it will start rendering I'm not going to render this of course and uh, since it's a three hour video uh, it, it will take you some time to render um, depending on your computer but as that done you will, you, you're going to have a, like three hour video here uh, watchable of course you want to speed that up. For that, I prefer using Sony Vegas Pro. Um, this this program and it is also free to download. Uh, the trial on this homepage. I'll make sure to leave a link to this in the description. And the trial is just as good as the paid version for speeding up uh, files. So you may as well just use that. Um, so this is Sony Vegas Pro, and what you want to do is. Uh, it import your video now so here is my uh, you can see it's one hour and ten, ten minutes and you want to speed that up to around these five or six minutes uh, that's at least what I prefer so uh, you drag it into the timeline and uh, you click it and you'll see this little icon here uh, in the end of it click control and just drag it while holding down control as long as you can and you'll see a point where you can't uh, shorten it anymore so um, uh, and it'll still be around 15 minutes or 16 minutes even here um, and you of course want it even shorter even more speed up so what you want to do is uh, instead of rendering it putting it to Sony Vegas and uh, shorting it down again um, here's a little tip you can right click it, uh, insert, remove envelope and click velocity and it will show you the screen um, green line here. You want to click that line and drag it to the top of the image and you'll see this little arrow here, uh, just removing this, little arrow here that shows the original length of the video and you can see if you go past that arrow it starts over so you want to drag this this time without holding control to the arrow here and now you can see it's around five minutes the whole speed art so is that being done uh, you shorten it enough and uh, 
it's five minutes it's really speed up now and it looks great when you're watching it as mentioned before if you're struggling around an area uh, for like 10 minutes it'll only be like 20 seconds here so it's no big deal so take the time you need uh, and uh, as that being done you may want to import some music or whatever that fits the speed art um, <coughs> And uh, that pretty much wraps it up for making the speed art. Um, and of course, you will want to render it. Um, sorry, here's uh, you will click File, Render As, and you'll uh, you'll just uh, click the template. Um, you'll make your own template. If you want a template from me, uh, some render settings, uh, just message me on YouTube, and I'll uh, I'll message my render settings for you. They're really great. Um, so that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, you'll have your speed out around five minutes long, and um, just upload it to YouTube. Um, if you think this helped you out or I missed out on something, please uh, tell me in the comments or ask me on YouTube, and I'll make sure to answer you and help you out. Um, so that's pretty much it. Please uh, leave a like or a favorite; it's very much appreciated. Or tell me what you think of this tutorial. Um, yeah, thanks again for watching, and I'll make sure to uh, release a speed art soon. Um, so, thanks for watching.